Bishop Thomas Paprocki was born in Chicago. He has diplomas from St. Casimir School, Quigley Preparatory Seminary South, Niles College of Loyola University, St. Mary of the Lake Seminary, DePaul University College of Law, Pontifical Gregorian University, and the University of Notre Dame. Bishop Paprocki has washed feet for St. Michael Church, St. Joseph Parish, the Chicago Legal Clinic, the Archdiocese of Chicago, St. Constance Parish, the Loyola University College School of Law, the Illinois Catholic Health Association, and Catholic Athletes for Christ. Now he is the Bishop of the Diocese of Springfield. Bishop Paprocki speaks English, Polish, Spanish, and Italian. He reads Latin. He runs marathons. He plays hockey. He sings. Whenever I have a question about canon law, I call Bishop Paprocki. You may have noticed that he said Mass for us earlier today. He is also here today to receive the Sports Faith Light of Christ Award. When I think about Bishop Paprocki, I hear my father, Ed McCaskey, sing Bear Down Chicago Bears, and I rewrite the lyrics. That's almost as heavy as the Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm very grateful to receive this award. Earlier today at the uh, Sports Faith Luncheon, one of the speakers was saying that he couldn't believe that he was receiving an award that had something to do with uh, faith because he uh, grew up uh, not being a member of the faith and, and joined the faith later in life. Well, I'm sort of uh, the opposite. I can't believe that I'm receiving an award that has something to do with sports. <laughs> As a young boy, I was uh, not the, the world's best athlete. Uh, I played sports because I loved the game. I have uh, six brothers and uh, two sisters, so we sort of had our own built-in hockey team and baseball and fo football, basketball, whatever, you know, we played together, and it was always a lot of fun. And I, I'm still playing. Uh, God has uh, given me the ability to keep playing at my age, get on the ice and run, and um, I still play because it's fun, and I'm still not the world's uh, best athlete, but uh, sports are just uh, really tremendous. And the faith part, though, has... Uh, been a big part of my life uh, all the way as far as I can remember. Uh, as a little boy, uh, my mother says I was about four years old when I was uh, when I first started talking about wanting to be a priest, and so uh, my mom and dad were a great uh, inspiration to me uh, in the faith. Uh, my uh, dad has gone on to his uh, eternal reward, but uh, my mother is here. Uh, along with my brother Joe and his wife uh, Joanne, and so I just want to uh, publicly uh, thank my mother in particular for the way that she has handed on her faith uh, to me and, and my siblings and to our entire family and continues to be a great inspiration uh, to us. Uh, my brother Joe and I just uh, finished uh, co-authoring a book uh, that's hot off the press from Ave Maria Press called Holy Goals for Body and Soul. And uh, we talk about a lot of our family experiences and the connection between faith and sports and start out with some of the uh, the more negative aspects that we have to confront in sports. I talk about about fear and failure and frustration and then we, we move on to some of the more positive uh, aspects or characteristics that help us to deal with our fears and our failures and our frustrations. We talk about faith and about fortitude and about family and about friends and about fun. And all of those things uh, come together to make up what I think has been a, a lifetime of really great experiences of sports and faith. And I'm very grateful that God has, uh, has blessed me with uh, that ability to share the worlds of both sports and faith. As Patrick mentioned, I, I do like to sing. And uh, I had a feeling that Patrick was going to sing. And I thank you for, uh, for that little uh, ditty. And I have a song for you in response. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick McCaskey, <laughs> and all the folks of Sports Faith International. 
Thank you for this award, the light of Christ and the Sports Faith Hall of Fame. I'll never forget the way you filled the nation with your faith formation. Thank you for this award, and let them know Christ is wearing the crown. All honor and glory to the Almighty, most of all, I praise the Lord. 